Thank you, Clement, for that. Now, Kakamega Senator Cleophas Malala will know his fate today about his eligibility to vie for the position of governor of Kakamega County. High Court judge sitting in Kakamega, Justice Patrick Otieno, had directed the electoral body IEBC to temporarily gazette Malala awaiting the court verdict. Alan Ochanda is in Kakamega and we now cross live over to him. Good morning, Alan. Here in Kakamega, it's actually the senate of this great county of Kakamega, Cleophas Malara, re really waiting for the verdict of the high court here in Kakamega. Remember that uh, okay. Justice uh, P.J. Otieno is, the ma is actually the judge handling this case and uh, initially had given temporary orders to the electoral body IEBC to gazette uh, Senator Malala and then uh, uh, finally actually allowed it to gazette him alongside other uh, candidates uh, actually angling to uh, succeed uh, Governor uh, Weekly for Paranya as uh, the CEO of this uh, great county. So today we are expecting that uh, High Court Judge uh, Patrick Coutinho will be giving the verdict in an hour or uh, such minutes to come in an hour's time. He'll be giving the verdict as to whether he's eligible to vie for this uh, position of governor of this county. Remember that I initially two petitioners, Franklin Shilingi and Fred Mook, had moved to court really challenging the validity of uh, Clofus Malala, of course, the senator's academic papers and academic documents here, and really saying that he was not eligible uh, eligible to vie for this uh, position as the second uh, governor of uh, this county. But let's just speak to the lawyer of uh, the senator here, uh, Wakili Charles. Maybe you just tell us. We've actually seen there's actually been a pull and push in court, really litigating here and there. And you can see that uh, today you are expecting the verdict here. Maybe uh, from your expectations, we may not go to, into the merits and demerits of the courts here. What do we expect here, of course, from your expectations here? Of course, uh, uh, we expect a total vindication of uh, Senator Cleophas Malala, uh, you know, from these, uh, uh, you know, baseless and uh, meritless uh, accusations that he, has that he has faced from these two petitioners. Uh, you know, when we were before Justice P.J. Otien on Wednesday this week, the Attorney General filed three affidavits uh, from uh, 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 from uh, uh, Kenya National Examination Council, from the DCI, and from the Commission of University Education. And all those affidavits confirmed that uh, Senator Cleophas Malala's uh, uh, academic credentials are clean, 100%. There's no doubt about that. In fact, the question we asked the judge was uh, uh, what was there to decide after those affidavits were filed. So on our part, we expect 100% vindication that these petitions will be uh, dismissed, uh, you, know, uh, you know, as frivolous and wasting the court's time. And after that, we shall go back and expose the people who are behind them and the motive for bringing, up, for bringing these petitions to court and wasting the court's time. I think that uh, the issue of uh, academic credentials, uh, uh, you know, was, uh, uh, was an artificial issue created, uh, you know, to sidetrack the candidature of my client uh, however, it has now been confirmed. It's an, an, an issue. It will never be there. This is the end of it. Yes, yes. So now, apart, we're expecting a positive, uh, uh, you know, uh, judgment. Uh, it will come at about 11:30. Uh, everybody has confirmed from the university, from the Kenya National Examination Council. Therefore, there's no issue as far as we're concerned. Nice. Yes. Thanks so much. Yes, Wakili here really saying that they're expecting a positive uh, verdict from uh, the court here. Remember that uh, before the verdict is actually made public, we may not really go into the merits and demerits, of course, really trading carefully so that we cannot really uh, uh, preempt maybe what the judge is actually about to give us the judgment here. But remember that uh, in an hour or so, we shall be getting that verdict from uh, PJ Otien, of course, the High Court judge here in Kakame again. So remember that the, the Senate himself and his lawyer really claiming that uh, some people were actually behind that uh, uh, of course uh, that uh, litigation in court here that petition and uh, of course that uh, the senator claimed it was actually just to slow him from campaigning to actually succeed uh, governor uh, Wycliffe or Paranya but uh, as and when uh, the judgment will be made here we shall be bringing our views to speed with the blue by blue events here at the courts in Kakamega. Thank you, Alan, for that. Now, disputes, uh, the Kenya Judges and Magistrates Association President Derek 